Welcome yeah. to the Beats One Studio. Good, good. We're here to celebrate your album. Yeah. As you were. Congratulations. Yeah. It's How good. do you feel about it? Excited, man, more than anything. You know what I mean? A lot of people go, oh, you're nervous, not one bit. Does it feel different now? It's just your name there. Do you look at it different? Does it feel a little bit strange? No, man. No, because it's always about me anyway, you know what I mean? <laughs> But no, no, I don't, I don't, it doesn't feel different because it's the same kind of music, really. If I was doing something a bit hip and a bit like, you know, left field or whatever, then I guess it'd feel a bit odd, but it's pretty much what I do, you know what I mean? So it feels pretty, you know, pretty comfortable. I heard that you said if this album is a flop, yeah, you're going to pack it in. Yeah. My I'm... question is, what to you is a flop? Well, I don't know, man. I mean, yeah, what I mean by that is like, if it doesn't really like, if it doesn't go big, as in, like, if people don't really, 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 really love it mm. and take it into their hearts and souls, and I don't think, you know, people can buy it and lots of people can get caught up in the hype and buy it, but they don't really, like... I just, I guess I just want people to really, like, you know... I want them to feel it, you know what I mean? Who would you go to for honest feedback when you were making the tracks on the album, I apart guess, from the A&R? Yeah, I guess my girlfriend, my kids, my mum. I can tell when you get, like, a crossover, like, for what it's worth, she loves that. She's oh Jesus name, you sound beautiful on that. So I think, you know, uh, all, all the mum, that yeah, all the mums yeah, yeah. and stuff like that were kind of <laughs> yeah. like that. And then when when she sort of goes, Jesus name, do you have to shout too much? You know what I mean? With like <laughs> like the likes of Greedy Soul, then I go, we're on the summer here. That should be the first, like the rock and roll numbers, you know what I mean? When yeah. she sort of goes, Jesus, it's a bit loud. She's from Ireland, right? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, probably my mum and my kids, you know what I mean? I don't have a crew. Yeah, I don't imagine no. you with friends. Is that weird? Am Would I making you? that up? Or do you I, I can't imagine you sitting. No. With a group of your friends? No, no, just... no, I don't. A lot of my mates are from Manchester and I was still there. And some yeah. of them moved abroad and that. And like London, I just hang out with my missus, you know what I mean? And my kids and that, I kind of don't... I mean, I've obviously got friends, but, you know, I'm going to get in trouble here now because a lot of people might be listening <laughs> going, I thought I was your mate, you know I what I mean? I thought I was your best friend. But you know what I mean? But I don't, I don't have a crew anyway. <laughs> I just have me and my missus. She's a twin, so we hang, I just hang out with the twins, you know what I mean? And we have a laugh and that, you know what I mean? Are you, the, like, are you a lively person at birthdays, anniversaries? Have you ever been someone's best man? Been a best man for a few people, I think. Really? I think I have. Do anyway. you remember your speech? Anyone? Oh, man, I mumbled some and just got back to the bar. <laughs> I was going, like, hey, yeah, he, he loves you. That's supposed she, to be the most important you. part of she the wedding. She loves you, here's your rings, here's man. Your Can ring. I go to the bar, mate? You know what I mean? I'm not good at public speaking, man. Are you like the Liam Gallagher that we see every day, every yeah. minute of every day? Uh, it depends what you see. I mean, I don't go around booting pigeons up the arse. <laughs> a lot of people think that's what I do, you know what I mean? And like, you know, <laughs> flicking old people in the nose and stuff like that. But I guess I am, man. I mean, I... I you mean, never I, have an off day? Or, I don't oh, know, yeah. like, low self-esteem? Oh, yeah, totally. But not for long, though, you know what I mean? Not for long. I'm a pretty positive person, man. Yeah. I'm pretty zen as well, you know what I mean? Believe it or not. What has been your way of getting through the ups and downs? Alcohol. How do you feel now? Physically, mentally, Good. everything? Good. Well, this week I'm doing all right. Last week I had a nightmare. <laughs> I went out drinking and got up to some stuff and that, and then it took me a good week to recover from it. But now I'm... It I'm, takes you a whole week. Mate, I'm 45, mate. <laughs> well, it, it takes me about three days to sort of, like, before I go out and see the great British public and that, you know what I mean? You seem like you don't have... Don't and have never cared about the perception of mm, Liam Gallagher. No, man. do not matter what the press think, you know what I mean? They've got that little caricature made up of me, and that's cool. And mm. I guess I play on it sometimes and that. I know who I am and I know how good I am and I know how not good I am, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't, I can, I can, I can sift through the bull What are some of the things you're not good at? Cooking. Not good at cooking. I made a sausage sandwich once and I believe, and I'm serious that I was there, I was making it in the house and next minute I look round the, the fire, all the fire, <laughs> all the smoke's coming out and all the water's coming out and next minute I see these geezers running past the window with, um, <laughs> with ladders and shit, like proper firemen. I was like, I was going, I was going, where are you going? Like, ah, booting the door in, man. How That's many a, sausages were there? Just I, two? I probably had about five on the go, just making something for later than that, but I nearly burnt the house down. It was connected because it was alarm went straight to the... Uh, to the fire to the brigade. Fire, yeah, yeah. The fire station, yes. Yeah, so, well, that's yeah. good. At least you know that if you do try mate, to cook, you're going to be safe. Mate, it was going off in my house, man. It was like f <laughs> smoke everywhere and stuff, so I've not really been back, man, to do all that stuff. I met your son... Who? The Which day one? before his 18th Which, birthday. Oh, Lennon. Lennon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we were getting clothes for the Burberry fashion show. All right, yeah. He loves all that. Did you get him a present? I did get him a present. No, you, you know what I did? I give him money, you know what I mean? Because the kids just want money now, don't they? Would you be happy if Lennon joined the band? Mm. Would you be happy if he did the band yeah. life? Well, Gene, the younger one, 16, he's yeah. a bit of a drummer now. So he's got that buggy, he can't wait to leave school or college and I'll yeah. just get out on the road and I'm going to bring him out on the road in December and that. So he's into that. He plays a bit guitar. Lennon's a bit... 
he wants to be do a bit of acting and stuff, you know okay. what I mean? So it'd be good if the pair if the pair of them decided to be in a band, I'd be buzzing for it. What's the scariest thing about the world right now when you think about raising kids in it? There's a lot of crazy f out there, man. They just I don't know what it's just it doesn't seem to be getting any better either. It seems to be getting worse and worse. What do you think you would have been like if you had grown up in 2017? I'd probably be a model or something. Really? <laughs> it's easy, isn't it? It's easy being a model, sitting around. Apparently, it's not that easy, actually. Walking Speak in a straight line. line. Walking in a straight line with loads of top gear on you, man. That's a piece of man. I'd have been a model, man. <laughs> sitting around learning guitar and having to write lyrics and making music. That's a <laughs> pain in the ass, man. Yeah, put that jacket on you. Just walk, walk there, there and, and come back. Do you think? <laughs> do you think you know, what was there like that when you and walk back? Piece of <laughs> I'd do that all day long. That's what I'm going to be, actually. If this album flops, I'm going to be a model. <laughs> I saw the pictures of you in GQ. They did look great. They were modelly, weren't they? Yeah, they were very modelly. Yeah, and I can reckon I'd do it. I'd just lose a few pounds and I can get on it, you know what I mean? I reckon I'd be a banging model. And do you think it's easier to earn money now doing creative mm. things, like modelling, like being in a band? No, nah, I don't. I, we earned a lot of money, man, in the 90s, man. Oasis had it away big time. Well, I don't know how much I've earned, how much I've lost, but I know every time I go to the cash point to get some some money out, it's all, I just... Fingers crossed, you know what I mean? And it sort of just comes out and I go, that'll do. I love that you still go to the cash point. That's what's funny about that. Cash point, man, yeah. Don't you use contactless? Aren't you that guy? No, I don't use that. No, I don't trust that stuff. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just... Doesn't feel right. Don't, that's... <sighs> you might as well be giving it away, man, you know what I mean? No, I don't trust that, man. I'm still there like that. <laughs> what it is? What are you looking at? <laughs> I was going to say that. you got to yeah. do that just in no, case someone's over, there. Get over there. Did you, um, did you ever get smart? Have a look at that over there. Can you have you seen that? <laughs> <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> but I don't care about money. When you get it, and you, I'll make it again. You know what I mean? It's like I come in with now, and I'll go out with now. But now my missus manages me, so you know what I mean. So that's good. She manages you. Yeah. This could be really good or really bad. It's so right really, now it's really right good. Right now it's really good. We're the Excellent. new Shannon Os. We're the new. We're the new Osborns, man. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> She'll kill me for that. <laughs> <laughs> the new Osborne. No, no, Sharon and Ozzy, she manages Ozzy, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, I know, but that's not, the, joking, that's not the route I'm that joking. you want to go no, about. No, no, but you never know, though, do you? What would be her biggest complaint about you? That I get up really early in the morning. She likes a lion, man. I get up at five, about half five every morning. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, like, I'm an early bird. Because otherwise, if I don't go out running in the morning, loads of people go, ah, when are you races getting back together? How's your brother? <laughs> it's like, can you can press up here, mate? Try to touch my toes, you know what I mean? Stop slagging your brother off, you know what I mean? If you get out early, there's no one about. Them Oasis fans don't get up till about three in the afternoon, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm out, and I'm, my day's done by nine o'clock, man. And then you're just done? Then I'm sat there, bored out of my mind. Doing what? Swiddling my thumbs. Just looking at my shoes, going, <laughs> maybe them laces might look good in them shoes, you know what I mean? Maybe I'd, I'd paint them soles on them laces. No way! Oh, yeah, that's what I do. That jacket looks good. Must lose a few pounds, you're looking better. <laughs> That's all I do, man. What would you say um, is the most romantic thing you've done for anyone? I tell my missus I love her constantly. Yeah. She don't believe me, though. Maybe you've got to save it for, like, the moment and no, then no. say it. I think, the, I think it's good to say you love someone all the time, man, yeah. constantly. When did that become a pain in the ass? When did that become, <laughs> you know what I mean? I love you. You know you don't. <laughs> Stop saying it. No. You know what I mean? No, man, that's, that, that's the most romantic thing I've done. What would you say is your biggest flaw in a relationship? What's the most annoying thing about you when you're when you're dating or when you're in love with someone? What do you do? Oh, tell them I love him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know, man. I mean, no, nah, I don't know. I am pretty romantic, though. Or am I? I'm do you buy flowers? No. I Ever? Buy, no. I mean, yeah, of course. When Chocolates? It's, when it's Valentine's Day. Like the traditional Day. stuff? Yeah, the birthday and Valentine's Day. And that, but I'm not one of them on a Tuesday evening coming home. I must stop getting some flowers, you know what I mean? Plus, I get hay fever and that only make me sneeze a lot. <laughs> so just no twi flowers. twice a year, mate. <laughs> Birthday and Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, oh, man, I could talk to you about that forever. I'm killing you, huh? I could talk to you about that forever. Yeah, no, no. I'm... Um, I have to ask you this question. One thing that creative people always talk about is either they're not scared of dying. Right. Or they feel they're going to die before right. they hit a certain age. Yeah. I've seen Solange do it. I've seen my brother do it as yeah, well. He always yeah. feels like he's like, if I die... I lived a good life. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm with that. Have you thought about? Are you that person? Do you yeah, think about constantly, like that? man? I always think about death, man. I, constantly, man, but not in a way. Why like, do you think so? Because you know it's possible. You know what I mean? But not in a not in a morbid way. I just yeah. think, you know. And if it did happen, I would, you know, obviously I'd miss me kids and me people that I love and all that. But I'm not scared. I'm not afraid to die. Okay. Without a doubt, because I've definitely I know for a fact I have lived every single moment I've been here whether it's good or bad, you know what I mean? It might, I might have, you know, 
drifted into murky waters and that. But I have had I have had a top life and still continue to have a good life, mm. not because of success, but because of my freedom of speech, the way I wear, I say how I feel. You know what I mean? Even sometimes it can get you into trouble. That's the most important thing. That's the best thing. What do you want it to say on your tombstone? Um, thank f he's gone. <laughs> No, I know, I know. Maybe not that one. What would I say? <laughs> Who do you want to perform at your funeral? With your family and friends there. Uh, I don't know, but I know I went. I've been to some mega funerals, man. I'm not sure about mine. I mean, it's out of my hands, isn't it? What I would do is I'd get everyone wearing parkas. <laughs> and that's what I'd do. You're not allowed at my funeral unless you're not wearing a parka. Like it's compulsory. Completely, man. <laughs> We'd be like mad monks. <laughs> Speaking of Manchester, how, how often do you go back there? Not as much as I should, man. My mum's still there, my family's there, my aunties and uncles and cousins and that, but I go back every now and again to watch City, but I should go back more often, go back there and be playing that. But it's changed a lot, Manchester, since I lived there. Okay, when did this building come? Where's this <laughs> come from? Where's that street gone? And I, used to, I dug half of Manchester up. Before I joined a band, I was working for like this labouring firm and like this Irish firm, so... Half of them roles I dug up, but now there's, it's all changed a lot. So, but I do love it, man. My art is in Manchester, mm. but my kids are down here, so this is where it's at. Do you think you eventually ever move back there? So, I, no, no way, man. I'm moving to Paris, me, man. Paris? Yeah. Do you speak French? No, but my girlfriend does. Are you going to learn French? No. Nope. Do you know any French at all? Pass us that le baguette, <laughs> Mr. French man. Le baguette, give us them large le fries, le mac fries, and so that's all. Le big, big le mac, le big mac. <laughs> The Big Mac, you know what I mean? Le Coke. No way! <laughs> I'm f***ing telling you. <laughs> By the time I'm 50, I will have a gaff in Paris. That's my next, like, to-do list, my wish list, because you have got to have a little dreams, aren't you, so... Of course. Liam Gallagher, congratulations on your album. Thank you very much. Congratulations you on your solo album. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming dressed very, very sharp. Yes, cold out there. <laughs>